sorry, you do have a gap between the wall and skirting board. So then I'm just going to move the curtains and I'll do the windows after. So you do have an issue underneath the window as well. And then you've got black scuff marks, walls patchy, cobwebs. Again, this is all towards the probably down half the wall and towards the bottom. So it's all patchy, black scuff marks. If I get closer in various places. Again, more scuff marks. This is just towards the bottom of the wall. Towards the top, it's fine. This is just where your everyday scuff marks are. Again, more scuff marks. And then behind the door, do you have like a hole where the old switch used to be? And then behind the door is marked. You've got curtain hooks. So the carpet's all been hoovered. With no hairs, no dust. And then the window. So the curtains are window length. And you can see, obviously, there is mould on the ceiling. So it's not white ceiling, basically. Now, obviously, now you can see from where the ceiling used to be white, it's actually gone, turned into a black ceiling. I'm just going to head into the rear double bedroom. Light bulbs working in present. Ceiling is white, clean, with no cobwebs, no stains. Just going to zoom in out a little bit. There you go. Then I'm going to go up and down the wall. So I'll go up and down the wall behind the door first. So just looking at the door, you can see white marks and there's a bit missing there as well. Door closes fine, you've got a long scuff mark scratch on the door. So you do have several various small faint scuff marks and obviously the hole in the wall as well. Looks like there's a different colour paint being used. So up and down showing you the condition overall the walls are clean it's just when you get towards the bottom just maybe above the skirting board you do have another scuff mark again it's quite faint and you can see the skirting boards on the walls the sealant has cracked i'll just get a bit closer yeah sealant's cracked then you've got a couple of more scuff marks here And this is the right of the window with blinds and then underneath. And then left of the window and above. So you do have a curtain rail in here as well. So the windows are clean. As you can see, the sealant on the wall is cracked. And then you do have a large crack in the wall here as well. And you can see it's quite patchy towards the bottom. You've got a scuff mark, just two scuff marks on the ceiling. And then you've got an issue with the skirting board, missing. And then you've got a couple of fingerprints and another mark on the wall. Flooring is carpet, it's all been hoovered. It's clean, it's not a stain, and that's all clean as well. Okay, I'm just going to head into the bathroom. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. 
behind the door is white marks and it's damaged towards the top. Ceiling is white clean with no mold, no signs of paint peeling, light bar working and present. Then what I'll do, I'll go do the tiles first, the blue ones. So the blue ones are tired looking and um, there are several ones that I do have various cracks in. <clears throat> But there's no cobwebs visible and you do have obviously a mirror securely attached to the wall even with some tiles you'll see there's a couple of holes in them as well so it's all noted on the video and the grout is starting to crack in some places okay extractor fan which hasn't been turned on as soon as i turn the light on the radiator is clean it's just towards the bottom you can see there's a bit of dust and some rust so the window has blown, so it has got condensation in between. Blinds not tested. Again, again, various holes. And then we've got the white tiles. But there's no cracks. And the sealant has been redone. You can see there's a bit of discolour in the tiles towards the top grout and towards the bottom. In the shower, you've got a fingerprint on the door frame. Then you've got a cream bath panel. The bath is clean, ready to use. And the flooring is the same as the lino downstairs. It's starting to uplift in places and obviously fall to the groove. So that's just fall in line with the floorboards as well. Okay. So then you've got a hand basin with the right side, it's loose that is, um, right side tap running fine. Left tap also running fine. I'm just going to let that run just for a few seconds. And then unit. And then the toilet. There's no hairs on the outside. It's clean for the inside. Flush is fine. Also, just going to run the tap on the bath as well. So that's the hot tap um, and the cold tap doesn't seem to be working so let me turn the car tap off of here so I'll just need to speak to the landlord to see if that was working before but there's no cold tap that's working unless you have to turn this off and then turn, yeah just need to speak to the landlord regarding that now I'm going to do the um, smoke alarms and the garden. Do the garden first. So this is the smoke alarm ground floor. <whistles> Working fine and then when I head upstairs I'll go do the um, first floor fire alarm. So I'm just going to head outside. can see the light bulb is working. come out and close the door behind me because it's quite windy and grey okay the door's closed fine you do have obviously yellow around one of the French doors and the window's currently open and then you do have a couple of visible weeds 
in the path, your shed. But the garden has been trimmed, all the bushes have been maintained as well. And I'll walk down, so obviously the path's near enough clear, you do have the odd few bushes in your way. And then you've got the section over here, so I need to find out what, what's going on with this section and when that's going to be removed. And you've got weeds going further. Okay, so the door's locked. I'm going to head upstairs and do the upstairs fire alarm. Well, I can't reach the upstairs fire alarm, so I will request the tenant to um, test this for me.